Ladies and gentlemen, Rizzle from Rizzle Vapes here. Coming at you again today with another video, and this is going to be a super video. We are going to be looking at a bunch of things today. So first, what we have to look at, well, actually, yeah, it's going to be like three things. Three, 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 three things. First thing we're going to be taking a look at is Crust by Mech Sauce. It is an e-juice. So we'll be talking about that a little bit. We're going to be talking about these awesome Kuro concept coiler jigs, which are, oh, they're cheap and they're so, they're, they're just lifesavers in my opinion. And we're going to be talking about the Tobacco uh, Velocity clone that I have on the Rulo RX200. And I'm going to be talking about my three weeks with the RX200 and my thoughts on it. So, all right, so the first two things we're going to talk about kind of go hand in hand. Oh, we're kind of leaking a little bit here. They kind of go hand in hand. We're going to be talking about Crust by Mech Sauce, and we're going to be talking about the Tobacco uh, Velocity uh, RDA clone here. And first, we'll just, we'll just go over, uh, we'll just go over the flavor first. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, crust is a apple pie type flavor from Mech Sauce. As you can see, as I show on all of the uh, EGS reviews that I do, their art on the bottle is really freaking sweet. It's like a zombie just kind of chilling out, chilling out there. And it doesn't really mention anything special. I need to close the airflow on this. They really don't mention anything special on uh, the website about what it's supposed to taste like on the inhale and then what it's supposed to taste like on the exhale. I just noticed that on the inhale, I don't really get much. It's kind of like a, God, we're leaking so bad. I've never had any issues with this. I must be overdoing it. <laughs> on the inhale, I really don't taste much. Um, I mean, it's kind of just like a blank. It's like a blank flavor almost. But on the exhale, you get like a cinnamon, like a brief cinnamon with apples. And then like a pie crust. I mean, it, the, the flavor for what it's supposed to be is very accurate. I mean, if you were to ask me, I would say that that tastes like apple pie. Would I vape it all day? No. No, I would not. Something about cinnamon. You know what I mean? Um, I have, where the hell is it? I got Sticky Buns by Mitten Vapors uh, that I'm not even going to bother talking about in any video. Uh, I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Something about cinnamon. Like, I like the dessert, cereal, bakery flavor vape, but there's something with cinnamon. Now, that Sticky Buns is really good, but after vaping on it a while, I just kind of get sick of it, you know what I mean? And I can't put it in a tank. If I put it in a tank, I just feel sick to my stomach. Just the, I can't do it. I can drip it. I can drip it all day, but uh, then it might be a week before I drip it again. And I kind of feel like that's kind of like what crust is for me. If you like a cinnamon kind of flavor, apple pie obviously has cinnamon in it. This would probably be for you. I mean, it's. I would probably consider it the same as that sticky buns. I could probably drip it all day. But, I just get sick of it. I just get sick of it. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on and we're going to, because it's getting kind of foggy in here, so uh, I'm gonna just pause on the vapage. Um, and we're gonna talk about the RDA itself. Now this is a Velocity RDA. It's a clone. Cost $20 uh, at my local vape shop. It was $19.95 before tax. Uh, online, 
I haven't really seen the prices for them. Uh, obviously, since it is Velocity Clone, it's got the Velocity Style deck. Right now, rocking a six wrap dual coil build on there, just pretty standard. Uh, and we are rocking at right about that point three. We're at point two eight ohms, and we have been vaping it at 60 watts. Love the Velocity Style decks. Uh, on all the RDAs, on the, uh, let's see, I have four RDAs, and on three of them I have the Velocity Style deck, and my fourth one is the newest one, and that is the Hania, I believe, by uh, Blitz, and I love, I love that deck, I love that deck, but, well, will that, well, that'll be a different video, um, Velocity Style decks, I just love them, they're so easy to build on, and, uh, you know, going from upper to lower, and vice versa is great. Inside the box, here's the packaging for that clone, by the way. Yep, it was right, 1995. So here's a box for it. Inside the box, you will get a uh, 510 drip tip uh, converter that you can unscrew this, screw this on, and use your standard 510 drip tips. Uh, for RDAs, I really don't like the standard drip tips. Kind of prefer those on tanks, but so you got one of those. Comes with the Allen key for it, and a bag of a couple extra screws and some extra O-rings. Uh, just a little bag of goodies like you typically get. On here, it doesn't come apart. Obviously, if you know anything about, ah, oh, we're just it's just leaked. I think I overfilled it the other night when I was messing with it and it's just getting all over the place. That doesn't come apart. If you know anything about the, the normal Velocity RDA, that doesn't separate, but the cool thing about it is we can go ahead and we can pop this back on here, and instead of pulling it off, dripping on it, putting this on, doing it over and over again, you can just drip right in the top, right in the top there, which I really, really like. I mean, you know, with the Hanya RDA and my other RDAs, I can pull off the little uh, airflow cap and just drip right in there. Fine, you know, but this is my lazy RDA. If I'm sitting here, I'm like, God, I really don't want to do this and that all the time. I'm just dripping and just drip right in the top. Love it. Absolutely love it. Airflow. Let's talk about airflow on it real quick. Uh, you can go all the way down to where it's virtually nothing. Or you can, I'm sorry, I wasn't even showing it to you. Or you can open it up and go full wide open. And there's these holes all the way around. It kind of looks like a smiley face looking at you, an open face. Uh, those can be either open or closed. I like to have them closed. I mean, on my tanks, I like an airy vape. RDAs, I do too, but too much. And it's like you're breathing air. Not a big fan of that. So, that is the RDA. And the juice, the RDA for a clone, yeah, I recommend it 100%. I absolutely love it. Uh, now, let's talk about these uh, Kuro Concept jigs. Kind of like the Coil Masters, except they come pre, uh, pre-built in there, and you can't change them out, so you have to buy each one individually. Do not worry, though. They are very, very cheap, and they do the job just fine. Now this is, uh, I have a .25 and the, I think, the, yeah, that's the red one. And the purple one right here is a uh, 3 point, or 3.0 in diameter. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, cut up some wire and I'll just uh, put it in there and show you how this works real quick. And you take it and there's this little hole right here on the end. You take your wire, you shove it up through that hole, you take your finger, you hold it on the side like that, you press this up against the metal like so, you take your cap, you put it in, you put it behind the wire, it'll catch eventually, and then you just spin it. Now I'm not specifically making this wire for anything, so we're just going to keep twisting until it reaches the end. Waste of wire, I know, for the purpose of the video. And you can see right there, 
whip it off here. And, wow, well, I got, probably got that too close. I kind of janked this up and had to redo it, but aside from that, I mean, it's pretty straight. It's a, it's a pretty good looking coil. And these little jigs, I mean, I messed up, user error. I've made so many coils with these things, I don't even know where they're at, but uh, actually the build on here was done with that jig, and they turned out great. Got right to the ohms that I wanted it. Perfect. It's so much better and accurate than just eyeing it when you can grab it, put your wire in there, and go one, two, three, four, five, six. There's your six wraps. So I really enjoy it, and honestly, they're they're cheap. They're cheap. So even if you decide that you want to check them out and you don't like them, I think I got both of these together for like three dollars four dollars shipped from ebay they do ship from china though so uh it did take about three weeks to get to me just kidding i think it took two weeks did take about two weeks to get to me so if you can if you have the patience and you can wait for something cheap that does about the same thing as the coil master does just maybe at a less caliber i definitely recommend those as well so yeah, guys, there you go. There's uh, some crust, the uh, Velocity clone, and the Kiro Concepts uh, coiling jig. If you like the super video, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below. Let me know if I should do some more of these super videos. They'll be longer, but I can knock some more stuff out, maybe two or three juices at a time, a couple uh, where I do some RDAs and some other accessories, or if I should just do one at a time and keep them at the, uh, the shorter, the shorter uh, time limit range. So yeah, comment down below, let me know what you think, subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content, and I will see you in the next one.